And Randy might have been muted out. Was muted like, out. Oh, hey, thank you, Kelly. You I'm talking. Are. Couldn't hear me. Uh, and I tell you what, guys, I'm really, really excited. Not only about what we have here, but on our call, guys, there are people on here from South Africa. They're on here from Australia, Brazil. It's amazing. The UK. We even have people on here, ladies and gentlemen, from as Kelly said, from Hawaii. It's, it's just amazing. All over the place, uh, people are on this call. And this is our team call, guys. It's not a corporate call. It's not a company call. It's just our team call, and we have a privilege today to have someone from corporate on our call, of course, Mr. Steve Labriola, and because of his time, we're going to get right to him to give us any kind of updates, kind of let us know the direction of the company and the excitement that all of us have embarked on with this incredible program, which, of course, guys, is to me, it is not only the number one deal out there, ladies and gentlemen, to me, it is the only deal that matters because this is a company where everyone can get paid weekly by simply posting ads daily. It's absolutely phenomenal. So I want to introduce my good friend and the Director of Marketing, Mr. Steve Labriola. Steve, are you there? I am. Can you hear me, Randy? We can hear you just great, sir. The floor is yours. That is awesome, and thank you very much for that intro. And Kelly, thank you very much for all that you do. Um, I, uh, I have to say first that um, I'm exci as excited to be part of the company and the team as the agents are. Uh, I have met some great new friends. I know that every time I go into town where Randy is, he tends to find a great little breakfast place for me. And, and you know, businesses like this are built on friendships. And, and that I want to thank everybody that I've become friends with out there that are on the call. It's been uh, wonderful for me. And uh, I'm very excited for our future as we keep going down this road. And not to take too much time up on this call, I, I do want to just cover a couple of quick things. Randy had asked me if I could hop on the call, and i um, always pleased to be able to do this. First of all, uh, I know that everybody has been anticipating and waiting the arrival of our new Merchant Services Processing Center, which I did just hear today. We got the green light. Everything is merged in together. They told me it was probably going to be up by 1 or 1.30, but I did just check with Jim uh, about five minutes ago, and he said they're bringing it in, and you'll see it go live. It, it will definitely be live by the end of today, and that is incredibly exciting. We are changing that whole process, so we will, in the near future, we will not have to be uploading documents as soon as, Everything is running and it's beta tested and the security is there. Uh, the site, the all of the payment processing part of the site right now will be all SSL secured. Um, and that comes with this new merchant services process. And that's part of what has taken them so long to really get this all together and up and running is because they really have to you understand they've got to make a lot of pages secure and they've got to go through a lot of software. But... Uh, today's the day. Excited about that. Um, that's going to bring some new things. And, and then as I talk many times, we move into our new platform in a couple of months. Um, that's basically taking our entire system, everything, and plunking it on a new foundation so that it can handle our growth and can handle where we go. And um, as you all have heard me say, right now we're, we're a, sky, a, a skyscraper that was built on a house foundation. And the foundation is definitely challenged to support this, and it, as we can see, little cracks here and there. But I'll be happy to tell you and very excited to let you know that we are very close to, to having the skyscraper planted on a skyscraper foundation, and um, the sky is absolutely the limit, and the company is taking lots of resources and funds and putting it into that whole process as we grow and we uh, increase our product base, we increase our agent base, we increase our resources when it comes to training facilities, um, we'll, we'll be able to upload uh, training videos and a lot of great things in that application. So that's a little bit of where we're going. And, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about where we are today. The new merchant services, um, when it comes to for the short time, if you are still uploading documents, please make sure that they match. I say this all the time, driver's license, credit card authorization, because that's for your security as well as ours. And we're pretty strict on what we will allow to go through and not go through. 
make sure expiration dates are okay on your driver's license, make sure expiration dates are okay on your credit cards, and make sure that all of your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted, because um, that's, that's one thing that kind of holds things up a little bit. When you ask for a second password, or you want to get into your back office and you ask for responses, make sure that you're checking your spam folder. We still see people coming to us and saying, we didn't get, we didn't get, we didn't get, and sure enough, they come back, oh, it was in our spam folder. Now, I know that's not all of the situations. I do know that there are some unique situations where either your email deletes it from us or it never gets to you, whichever it is, and, and we will make sure we work through those, but just I just wanted to make sure that you, you stay on top of those. If you are making deposits for your startup, make sure that you get the, uh, the deposit slip that you got when you made the deposit forwarded into your upline. And if you have questions about that, just go to your, up, your upline leadership. I know that there's people on this call that can help walk you through that. Make sure that the deposit slips get up right away because we do see deposits come in some days and then three or four days we don't see anything and, and we don't want to hold your money any more than you want us to hold your money. We want to make sure that, that you get credited immediately for that and start running your business uh, the way you want to run it. So make sure that those things, those will help expedite you, help get you to the next level. We know that when you come in the business, it's the most exciting time you can have and, and it's all about momentum and you're in with an incredible group of leaders here that will help walk you to the next level. But all of that starts with your first step anything in life that you want to do. It's that first step, and we've all heard baby steps before. Well, make sure that first step is accurate and, and that you're moving in the right direction because where we're going is just phenomenal. Some of the things, the products that are going to be coming out with this new platform, and I know I've talked about them with you periodically, but the, the you know financial products, people to help with their credit score, people to help with their finances, people to help with motivation, people to help personal issues. We want we want to build a team of outstanding people that work together and help other people achieve levels. Changing people's lives is what it's all about. Reaching out, touching somebody, and helping them change their life. Well, we want to have the system in place that will a help you get there and b teach you along the way as you start increasing your pay, what you need to do with it, how you can work with your money, how you can work with increased pay, how you can get tax benefits. I mean, there's tons of tax benefits. I'm no accountant, but when I sit down with my accountant, he sure enough says to me, yeah, 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 oh, no, yeah, yeah, no, no. So uh, we are going to have resources that are going to be within the business that all of you are going to have access to. Those are all some of the things that are coming down the wire. Um, we are in business for the long haul. We are absolutely going the distance. I didn't come on board with this company to do this shorthanded. I didn't come on board with this company to see it fail. I don't believe in failure. I don't believe in quitting. I will take this as far as we need to take it to make sure that everybody that comes on board gets what they need to. So I'm really excited about where they're, where we're going. And uh, before I actually unplug, I know Randy had um, chatted with me this morning and he said he just had a couple of quick things to to ask me or run by me, and you back there, Randy? Yes, I am, Steve. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, great. Well, one of the things that, that of course, a lot of people were wondering about was the uh, the new debit card processor now, and you mentioned that uh, that should be up by later today. Is that also tied into the debit cards, the Telex free debit cards that uh be expecting to get? Yeah, actually, the the new uh, merchant services process will give us access to either um, ordering debit cards or we are also going to be able to do what we call a global pay with it, uh, which will be up about seven days after it starts. And a global pay is really exciting because it will touch just about 200 countries and give people access to paying directly into our system account to account. If they've got a checking account in their country or a debit card, You'll be able to pay directly and when it goes to paying out um, what's going to be coming once we're up and running which will be today in the next couple of weeks you'll actually see the whole process uh, get kicked in of people being able to get paid you know maybe a month maybe not exactly a couple of weeks but what what you'll see is with that new merchant services the ability to load your funds onto your own debit card or as we get our debit card available be able to load funds onto that so it's um, 
this is the first step in working toward all of the financial parts of the business that we all want to see resolved. So, well, that'll be pretty powerful, Steve. I tell you what, that'll be a lot of, of excitement because I know we've got a lot of people, particularly out on the West Coast, uh, that were trying to get in, and because of the two, you know, credit card limit, they can't uh, they can't get in because they've used their credit card twice within a 30-day period. So that's going to be refreshing for a lot of people. Uh, that whole new system, and I'm so glad to hear uh, that by later today that uh, the system should be up and running and then the, the whole process being rolled out uh, over the next few weeks. I believe that's what you said on the uh, – as far as people being able to pay in, and is that correct? Yes, yes, you'll see it. We'll be able to get – you'll be able to pay in by the end of today. The new process will be in the back office, but as as we work through it, I've seen the drawings to where, where this merchant service is going to take us, and, and they're going to have all of those options available to us. But they wanted to, well, first of all, get us through the data inter, intertwining, and, and the software and the IT people wanted to make sure that, that the two systems intermix perfectly and there's no hiccups, and then we can add their all. This particular company comes with a whole um, laundry list of um of uh, functions that we're going to take advantage of. So that that's all. Each one of those functions is just going to be a flick of a switch to them once they're in our system and they're in it, and they'll be uh, turning it over to, to running by the end of today, and then we'll beta test it a week, add something, beta test it a week, add something. So all of that's coming, and we're really excited about it. This is a big step for us, and, and we are we are like uh, kids in a candy factory. I'll tell you, it's, we're, I'm tickled to where we are. Absolutely. You know, the interesting thing is that, uh, you know, I understand we went through and, you know, some of the people had questions about, uh, which we don't really get the questions anymore, uh, after the whole thing got cleared up in Brazil about the legalities of the company and they found that everything was, was perfectly fine with us and then the, the amount of people that are coming in. But where do you see the company over the next three to four years with all the additional services that are being added in uh, that we'll be able to offer to customers. Oh my God, Randy! Well, you know what? The sky is absolutely the limit. If you if you think about um, the like, for instance, what you had said about the stuff going on in Brazil, any country that we go into, you may have authorities that are going to step up and say, "Hey, um, what are you doing? And and is it legal? And are you doing the right things?" And and you know what makes all of that so much better is more more and more products and some of the things that we're going to be adding in you know the telex commerce that's over in brazil and once that's um all 100 percent up and running and that will be a global launch but more so than that telex commerce is good but i'm more excited about things that i talk about helping people with financial management helping people increase their credit score these are absolutely coming the new products that you see in the states I'm really, we're probably not going to add those into the system until we're on our new foundation, our new platform. Just there's no need to add more weight. But, but one of the things that uh, our IT team has made it very clear to us is that in the new platform to add new products, it's pretty much the flick of a switch. It will not take what it takes now because everything, I don't know software that well, and I know Faith here on the call, and, and I, you can understand it better than I can, but basically, when they when they take one product and bring it in now, every single page we have of code, they almost have to add it independently to each page. Whereas the new system, it's going to be almost like a funnel, add it in one spot, and it'll automatically populate the entire system. So to be able to add products then are great. Jim and I are very strong at product-based generating revenue and and services that will help people that will generate revenue and give you uh, a, a laundry basket full of services that you can then turn around and sell that you want to sell or that you can use and that you can buy for yourself. So where we're going is really, really incredible. And as I say, the sky is the limit. This new platform it has got a foundation that can hold anything that we put on it. And um, and we're going to be able to add more and more stuff as we get into that. It, it is going to be really exciting. Now, I know that Kelly mentioned the L.A. meeting. Just so that you all know, I will also be in the Florida meeting the end of this month. Um, and I'm hoping 
that I've got some a couple of the new product brochures by then. I'm, I'm not sure of it, but I'm hoping so. Well, that'll be awesome. Sky is the limit, Randy. Hey, I tell you what, I appreciate that, and I do know that uh, with the massive amount of growth that we have, and then uh, of course the the putting into the new system to be able to accommodate uh, a lot of the growth that's happening because it's amazing every minute of the day. It's so funny when I'm registering one person and then I go back three minutes later and register another uh, person, the numbers have jumped by two, three thousand. It's just absolutely phenomenal. So you guys are doing an incredible job with that kind of weight load of the amount of different applications that are being filled out per minute and even per second. And the amount of interest that people have in this company, and I'll tell you what, I know that, of course, nothing's perfect. Uh, there are issues from time to time, like I know we had uh, trouble with the numbers, uh, that when people were getting the service, some of the numbers weren't sticking in the back office. And I know you came up with a solution for that, for those people that, uh, when it was doing that, that they could get with their upline, send in the, the username and the phone number that they want to put in there, and then uh, they were doing that manually. Uh, through corporate, so we appreciate you guys doing that. But uh, any update on that system has that has that been uh, rectified yet, or are we still having a few uh, issues with the numbers not sticking? Um, I I I would have to say we're still having a few numbers numbers not sticking because I still see emails coming in, and I don't know the dates of some of the emails. You know, somebody may have sent me an email today that came from somebody in their downline or came from another organization two or three days ago. Um, so just keep doing it that way. I one I can promise you that the problem will be 100% fixed and the problem will be behind us um, because that really is always going to be a baseline product. But as we all know, telecom industry fluctuates all the time. So, so we, we're going to have so many other products that are in the business that it's not going to be so critical to run that. But we also want everybody that has that product be able to use it and be able to enjoy it. So I don't, I, I haven't actually talked to, uh, we've got an IT team that's running just that part of the business. I haven't talked to any one of them. The guy's name is Ryan and said, Ryan, is it hundred percent fixed? So I don't, all I know is that as they come in, we do our best to manually upload them and get them up and running. And some of them may not be done as, as efficiently or quickly as you want, but we will get that behind us also, Andy. That's a good question. Great. And I tell you what, Steve, we appreciate all that you do. And I do know that uh, I think back on 531 when they were in there doing programming, and that, that's one thing that I love now, guys. People don't they, they don't panic anymore if they go to the site and they see it in maintenance mode or if they see that the site is down and they're doing some work because trying to you know upload new information when you have that many people trying to sign up and that many users has to be, you know, a, a task that I, I just, I couldn't even dream of how difficult that would be. So I do know from time to time they have to take the site down to upload and to do, you know, repairs and different things in the back office. And uh, I know we said on 5, I believe it was 531 that it went down, that if it's down for a certain period of time, that uh, that the company would credit them with that. So I believe you said there were only a few people that weren't able to post on 531. And I believe from talking to Darcy, the direction was for those people who didn't give credit for 531 if they didn't post, they need to send an email into the company uh, on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Is that correct? Exactly. And, you know, what I would like to see happen is that if you could have everybody send them upline and bring them down to uh, maybe just one or two emails with 30 or 40 old logins on them would be great. I got one today from a West Coast group that, probably had 30 or 40, and I forwarded that um, right away. So it, the reason for that and is because there was such a high percentage of people that actually were persistent and kept diligently trying, and they did get their ads run. So we can't do a global um, ad placement for everybody for that one day because it could cause problems in the system with the people that did run their ads. So just anybody that didn't get their ads credited for 531, Please make sure that you get your login, write 531 ad, and send it upline. And if they come upline, Randy, is if you get them all, just compile them all into one email address for Kelly or whoever else is out there. Faith, just make sure that you send me one email, and I will get it forwarded right over there, so we can do them manually one by one. Because we we did the system was not it was not down for an entire three hours all day, but it was inefficient enough that we decided, you know what, 
we've got too many people that are going to have problems today. Let's just get these credited. So, um, so we did see more people actually run the ad than we had anticipated. But get them offline, and we'll get those down for, on five, for that 531 day. Well, Steve, I tell you what, this is one of the best update calls I've ever, ever been on. You guys are just doing an awesome job. And I want to thank you for all your hard work. I know it's very tasking and very challenging. And I look forward to uh, seeing you again. And, of course, let's see what kind of great breakfast spot we can find in Fort Lauderdale uh, for the uh, Super Saturday that's coming up on the 22nd of uh, June. And uh, that's just next weekend. Wow, time's just flying by. So I look forward to uh, seeing you and your wife down there, and I appreciate you getting on the call. Awesome. Thank you, Randy. And thank you to everybody for – Keep going forward. Remember, challenges bring opportunities, and just keep plugging into your upline, and we'll see you all on the other side, and you all have an awesome day, and thank you, Randy. Thanks so much, Stephen. Bye. Appreciate your time away from your busy schedule. Thank you so much.